Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for uh, August 20th to August 26, 2018. So, uh, First will be the tarot spread here in the first position of the tarot spread of the tarot spread represents the topic for your week. Second position here will be regarding the core of the situation. Third position it is about the challenges that you have to overcome and the fourth position that will be the uh, guidance that you should follow for the duration of the week. So the first card here, let's see what you got Aquarius. Now this is going to be the Seven of Cups. So uh, this week you kind of have a, a looming menace of being deceived by yourself with the Seven of Cups because the Seven of Cups represents um, fallacious towers that one builds up. It's kind of an expression in my language. So it's kind of like a, um, you are having inaccurate perception for what a project in your work could be uh, and you're over exaggerating the results or same thing goes in your relationship life especially for example if you are having a person of interest you may think that this person of interest is more into you than they are actually are or in other words with the seven of uh, with the seven of cups you may think that you are as um, more further than in reality you are so you are not as far as you think you are very important here and you have to ground yourself regarding the perception of the situation around you all right um, you need to sober yourself should i say that way uh because with the seven of cups uh the danger isn't that uh grave what i mean is um there is not much of a room here for you to make some terrible mistakes, you know, from which you are going to suffer ever long lasting. But uh, if you go along, with, you know, with your over exaggeration, uh, you may become a victim of some uh, fraudulent schemes. If we're talking about your uh, career, or uh, you may lie, you may lie to yourself about someone else's emotions as well regarding your relationship and that will force a, a disappointment in your environment and exactly that disappointment it is what is going to ground you here so instead of waiting that disappointment to ground you I mean uh, if you cannot sober yourself you know th there is definitely someone around you as a, a trusted faithful companion who has a, a more accurate look upon the uh, situation so my bottom line with that card is that whatever you uh, um, decide to do all right whatever actions you want to take regarding projects you know regarding people regarding relationships it will be um, kind of advisable to consult yourself with a very good friend of yours because they will have a, a much kind of like independent opinion for uh, what truly you know could happen and could and could uh, come out of um, come out of your actions and of your approach toward the uh, situation and the core of uh, the situation itself this is going to be the star card so i can i can understand you all right because the star the star card here represents the um the very first uh, time frame after a certain turmoil so probably at that particular week now finally you are going to have a room to breathe and you are going to have a room to basically um, start hoping for a, a brighter future probably an undertaking is going to to happen which you are uh, looking forward to you know which you have been planning here and because things are starting to developing for you you know from the very from the very start of uh, of the matter uh, you may kind of get ahead of yourself <clears throat> now that is the only danger that we do have but the star card here also um, kind of not threatened but confirms the idea of that you have to consult yourself with a faithful companion because the star card uh, gives you support from the exterior from the peripheral 
uh, for the from the peripheral environment, which is exactly faithful companion, friend, uh, partner in relationship, someone from your family as well. In generally, the, this card points that there are a lot of people around you which loves you, all right, and they really want to see you succeeding. Uh, <clears throat> In, in in your things in your in your undertakings it's only thing that you need to do is ask for a advice but um, whatever you uh, whatever you are after uh, you need to know with the, with the star card is that it can be done all right it's just it, it cannot be done as fast as you think and probably with the seven of cups here you have to as well rethink your strategies in the sense of that probably your approach isn't the best possible approach here as a matter of fact it could some people could find it as they are very stupid approach i'm sorry to say it but it is, it is how it looks like <clears throat> so instead of just rushing guys aquarius is due that week why don't you hold your horses for a little while and just enjoy you know the end of the turmoil that you have recently experienced and uh, basically uh, hope I mean kind of like give yourself to the hope for the brighter future here and as you do so most likely you will be able to lift yourself above the situation and this time around you know kind of make your plans much more accurate regarding to what is yet to come so you're gonna see what is looming in the horizon for you instead of just uh, imagining it <clears throat> now the third card represents the challenges that you need to overcome this is the, the Knights of Pentacles and it is exactly what I said here being systematic being being slow being meticulous being grounded because the Knights of Pentacles is ground is grounded so uh, what will be difficult for you is to kind of in, incorporate very simple um, approach a very simple strategy and it is exactly what it is um, what it is wanted from you guys to do now instead of trying to create those sophisticated plans you know where things are hanging on um, a very thin um, a very thin edge and there are multiple question marks on every single uh, corner in your plan uh, instead of doing that it will be beneficial for you to go step by step here with a very uh, as i said simple but very determinate <clears throat> small steps moving on forward and it will be very important that you support your actions with uh, with determination here and as well with compassion now this card points as well that should you find yourself in a stressful situation should you find yourself cornered somehow it will be beneficial for you to just you know give yourself a break and go spend some time among nature uh, and this comes as a challenge because you may feel that there is no time to lose but what I see Said, it is that you need to give yourself to uh, to the hope and you need to give yourself to the idea of what it is about to happen or what you want to achieve here so you can lift yourself above the situation instead of frantically trying to execute certain uh, certain strategies that are not very well or very well and thoroughly thought through and the last card represents the guidance that you should follow here with the devil card and now uh, this is a, a card signifying in, in this particular case that you need to look uh, look for uh, these faithful events that are going to happen so uh, what will mark uh, the timing for you to perform a certain action is not going to be uh, determined by you and by your uh, wanting and wishing here but it's going to be determined by some exterior circumstances and when those exterior circumstances happen you know those fateful events it is when you have to actually execute a move instead of executing a move on your own accord so it will, it will be very important here to just keep uh, keep track upon the situation and uh, <clears throat> kind of like exert um, correspondent actions that have been expected from you when the time is right also very important here with the devil card is being um, uh, to be resigned regarding uh, decisions that you make uh, you know because this card points that you may kind of feel 
uh, that you have made the wrong decision here and it is kind of understandable <clears throat> because we do have the seven of cups and what they said about the seven of cups is that one is daydreaming you know one is kind of like believing in these felicious towers uh, built in the clouds etc etc but uh, <clears throat> If you are, as I said, grounded and if you kind of go with what you know to be true and you keep your uh, maneuvers simple, then uh, the fear of making the wrong choice will be uh, totally diminished. So it's all about working out that fear of making the wrong choice here with the Devil card. And then let's see what the Lenormand has to say for you, Capricorn, uh, Aquarius. Uh, we have the child with the uh, with the fish and uh, with the bear so this Lenormand reading is for those Aquariuses which have a ch which ha are having a children or a child and one of your child uh, one of your children or your child here or maybe uh, all of your children will require a financial support this is what these cards are pointing so a child <clears throat> Will require, will require finances from a an elder, a support, motherhood figurine, someone who is nurturing them. So probably you guys will have to spend a uh, some money over a, a child. It could be your child, it could be your nephew as well, you know, etc, etc. Or it could be a random kid that you kind of feel attached to um, in your neighborhood. I don't know, but this is an, an event that is going to happen here and you need to look forward to. Now again, um, uh, the Lenormand cards are very personal cards and this event could be a, a very big deal for you or it could manifest itself into something very negative that you will not even pay attention to so don't get you know upset if the Lenormand points something um, unpleasant that it is going to happen again um, it may happen in a field in your life which is kind of totally irrelevant to you so that being said Aquarius this was your weekly tarot reading and Lenormand one for August 20th to August 26 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now, see you next time. Bye!